Hello and welcome. My name is Matthias and in today's video I will show you how to create a flow in Power Automate Desktop that goes to a predefined website, takes a screenshot of that website that can be any website that you can access and then save that screenshot in a folder uh, with today's current date and time. It'll look like this. And as an example here, I'm just going to my own LinkedIn profile, but it can be whatever. Boom. And then the outcome is, as you can see here, a screenshot of the website that I told it to go to. Now, if we want to do this, let's just close this down. We can save it. and then start from the beginning. So we'll give the flow a name, create the name, create the flow. And then we have to do a couple of things. And it's always good, I'm using paint. It's always good to just think about the process, what it is that we're trying to build. It helps us also when we start building it so we don't get lost. So we want to we want to go to website in this episode or in this instance, we'll scroll down, take screenshot, and then we'll save to folder, close, and then we'll close everything down and end it. Now, there's a minor complexity added to this. Um, which is that we want to save it in a date time format so it's sortable when in the folder because we want to have the intention the intention of this is something that is actually derived from my from my from my normal job where I need to do this of some sort uh, so I'm trying to replicate that here for you to show uh, for for me to show you how to do it um but the idea is that the the flow will run every night and then it will save a picture of a specific um website in a folder every night. Uh, for that, we don't want it to just have the name screenshot, for example, screenshot, 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 screenshot. It'll then uh, duplicate itself or, or even merge with the with the file that's already in the folder. So we want to do something smart. We want to do something that gets us a name of the date. So today's date is the uh, 2nd of July. So that will be written like this. And then uh, you could add the time, um, which let's just say it's uh, 1600, so 4 p.m., something like this. And then we want to we want to add a name for it. We could actually just call it screenshots in the end. But we want to be able to do that because then when we take a screenshot tomorrow, it'll be it'll be like this, and that means that in the folder when we have all the screenshots, if we do it for a month, it's easy to see which one is stemming from which date. Now, this is a little bit of complexity added, but it's not a lot, uh, but it actually requires us to do something in the beginning before we um, before we go to the website, which is to uh, get a current date and then adjust that a bit. So. These are the steps. We get the current date, we adjust that a bit to make it into the format that we want to. And then we do go through the process like we would normally do, where we go to the website, we scroll down a little bit, we take a screenshot, we save it to a folder, and then we close everything and the, and the flow is done. So that's the intention. So with that in mind, let's start from the beginning. So we go up into actions, and then we search for get current, and we'll drag this in, get current date time, and it's just the system time zone, that's fine. That's just whatever it is on the system where the flow is running. Um, we'll save that in current date time, no problem there. And then we need to adjust it a bit. And we do that by searching for convert. And then we'll have to find the one that says convert date time to text because we want to change it into something. And then here we have to reference the variable so you can see up here it says retrieve the current date time and store it into this variable current date time 
we can reference that in a couple of different ways. We can put these around it and then just write it current date time. That's the that's one way of doing it. Alternatively, we can click the X out here and then just double click it here. Then we also have it. now the format to use. We don't want to be stand. We don't want it to be standard. We want to make our own custom format like we can also do in Excel or whatever. And that goes like this. So year, 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 year. And then it'll give you a sample down here so we can see that we're also doing it right. So year, 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 month, month, date, date. And we want to add a T for time. And then it'll be hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second. And then a set. So this will give us the produced format date time in the format that we want to. Uh, you can obviously add whatever you want here, but this is just this is normally also what I use at work. Um, so we like the, I like this format myself. So we'll save that um, in format date time. And then if we go back to the paint, uh, we now have get current date, adjust that a bit. So now we can go into the more easy bit, which is to go into a website. So we do that by finding the action launch and I'm using Chrome. So let's just do that. And then we just have to reference the the website. So let's take my my link. We want to maximize it just so it looks nice. And then it's producing a variable called browser. Let's just change that a bit to so say LinkedIn browser. Not that it matters much, but it's always nice to stay on top of your variables so you know what to reference in the future. Um, so now we have that. Now what we want to do on the website, because if we run this, we can just click run. It simply just opens up my personal profile. But let's say that what we actually want to have a picture of if is the amount of followers that we have. Um, when we just open up the website, it loads on the front page and we can't see the amount of followers that I have because we have to scroll down to actually see that. So we can do that by using an action that says focus text field on web page. So this we will use the variable LinkedIn browser because that's where it is, the UI element that we're looking for. And then we'll have to add the UI element. We'll do that here, add UI element. Now we just have to open up the browser again. Get this a little bit out of the way. And then when you scroll down, there's a couple of different things that we can grab. Let's just grab the view here that covers all of this. So we'll click control and then just the left click and save. So now when we run it, it should focus that on the on the screen for us. So it finds that and it brings it into the screen. Now what we want to do just as, a, as an example here is that we don't want it to have it all the way down the bottom. We actually wanted to have it like this. So it's in the middle of the picture. Um, that could be done by finding another UI element down here that would then bring it in the middle. Alternatively, we'll just do it like this and then we'll add some keys just to get some exposure to that as well. So you can use the send keys in the foreground window. So whatever we have open um, and then what we want to add we can't add, at least not from what I know, we can't add mouse uh, rolls. Um, but what we can do is just put some down clicks. So if we're on the screen, if I'm here and I press my down button or my up button, I'll go up and down a bit. So we can use that to adjust it. It might not be the prettiest way, but it'll get the job done. So we'll add a couple of them. I don't know how many and save that. And then we'll try to run it again. See if it gets us what we want. So we'll find it, we'll send the key scrolling down a bit, and this brings it into the picture in the front or in, in the middle, uh, which is good. So we'll, we'll, we'll accept that. Um, now what we want to do is that we would uh, take a screenshot and we do that here on the workstation, take a screenshot. This is the one we want. And then we just use the foreground window. That's what we want to capture. And we don't want to save it to clipboard. We actually want to save it to a file. 
um, then we have two options or two things we have to input here. We want to change the image format and we'll just do it in a JPEG format. That's fine. And then here in the image file, this is where we have to use uh, the two first actions that we made uh, together with wherever we want to uh, wherever we want to send them. So I have a folder here. It could be any folder. Um, and I have the path to the folder up here. So I'll just uh, copy that and put it in. And then I'll add a backslash again um, to specify. So now we're specifying the name of, of the actual file that we want to save. And this is where references to, to older or to other variables comes in handy because now we'll just add uh, the formatted date time here. And then so now we're, we're referencing that with the variable here. And then we want to underscore it and say screenshot um, flow.jpg. And that should do the trick of what we want to do. So this means that now the format hopefully should come in the uh, year, 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 month, month, date, date, and then the time of wherever the um, wherever the flow was ran, and then it'll it'll be followed by underscore screenshot flow .jpg, meaning that it's also openable as a JPEG file. So we'll save that, and then all we have to do now is to, if we go back to my paint flow. Um, we scroll down, we take the screenshot, we save it to the folder, which we've done now, and now we just need to close everything down and, and finalize the flow. So the only thing that we have open when running this is the browser. So we just want to search for the close web browser action. And this is the browser that we want to close. So that's fine. And now we can run it. That was quick. Um, and then we can go in and just verify. Let's get this in a detail view so we can verify that this is what it took. And we can see the data here is correct. Wait, no, wait. The picture is fine. The date is not fine because it says it is the 24th of the 2nd which it is not. So let's go back to the yeah, 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 month, month, date, 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 month, month. That should do it. Was that the, let's just double click, see what goes with the screenshots. This is the newest one. There we go. All right. Yeah. So dates, they're always a problem, uh, but now we got it right. So now it says 2024 and then it's the date, which is the second and it's the month, which is the seventh month. So July, and then we got the time. 25 and that fits so that's perfect and then underscore screenshot flow uh, just so we give it a name other than just the date oh and then there's another problem so now we can't see anything and that might be because we need to add some sort of waiting period in between some of these flows so let's just see if we can find so the picture shows that it's scrolled down, so it's before, it's just after it scrolls down, it's before it takes the picture. So that will be here. So if we wait, if we wait for two, three seconds here, and then we'll start it again. Let's see if this works better. Giving everything time to load. There we go. And then let's go see the flow. This is then the newest flow. And there we go. So now we can see that 
the amount of activity or the amount of followers that I have. Um, and it's saving it in the right format, in the right date and time. So I will save this and then if you have a premium account, you can kind of take this to the next level, which is also what I've, I've done um, at my job. Uh, I've created this, des this desktop flow via the Power Automate desktop and then I've gone into the cloud flow into um, make.powerautomate.com. So in here you can connect uh, whoop, whoop. in here you can connect if you have a premium license then you can schedule that the cloud that the cloud flow runs and triggers one of the desktop flows that you have uh, we will not be covering that in this video but that is also possible so i think i'll end it here um thanks for following along let me know if you have any questions or comments um Thanks.